Hello everyone, Admiral William here with part two of our Scout Plane Visual Guide series. In this part, we are going to cover the launching of Scout Planes and the basic controls of Scout Planes and how to maneuver them around. So, hope you enjoy the video. Check it out. First thing before you even start messing with your planes that you want to do is take care of everything else. Get your engines going. Take a look. I'm doing practice mode so I can focus on giving you guys some helpful information. Next thing I want to do is take a look where everyone's at and then set some navigation so I'm not just driving straight across so I pulled up my ship's map and just picked a random spot that isn't charging over to the other side now it's time to get some planes in the air so if you're playing on any kind of device you just push the little airplane that's up here or if you are playing on a PC, you can press ALT, which releases your mouse, so you can do this, and click on that, or you can press the letter P. And if you ever have any questions on what buttons do what, press F1, and the little cheat shows up on the screen showing you everything. Alright, so let's get some planes in the air. I hit the uh, aircraft up there, and it takes me to my aircraft view. So I've got three pilots here pick any one of these three pilots to throw in my first plane to go up so you click on your pilot to select which pilot you want to use next options you have I've got bombs loaded on this uh, ship for my aircraft so do I want to actually put them on the plane yes or no if no then I click the left arrow and this Chinese writing right here means just your guns so I'm doesn't hurt to have some bombs on there so as you can see right here on this particular ship you can only launch one plane at a time some you can do two I can also add extra fuel it tells me my flight time right here is 25 minutes and 20 seconds so I don't need extra fuel because that's longer than the actual battle so let's get it queued up right here is where it tells you how long before it's ready to launch down below it tells you one aircraft in that flight and there's two bombs on the plane now you can see it says take off so it's ready to take off here's a neat little thing that you can do right after you click press on take off if you click right here it'll actually give you the view of the plane taking off so watch this Alright, so that plane's up in the air. Next thing I want to do real quick is get the next one queued up. We're still on this one now. So, next thing we need to do is uh, take a look around. So, this is how you do it. You drag your finger across the screen, or if you're using a computer, if you want the camera to go that way, you just, right now I'm holding the right button down, drag, and it spins around. Don't get to see much like this so uh, on a device you can touch the screen with two fingers and spread them apart and that zooms out or if you're on a PC just roll the center wheel back and it zooms out it gives you a much better clearer view of what's going on around you so let's get this second one in the air All right, now we've got two in the air. Let's get that third one queued up. All right, now, typically I do this as soon as I get the first one in the air, but I wanted to show you one more thing here. Okay, aircraft of similar nature, like scout planes. I can select two of them at once and tell them both to go there. Or I can just have one and tell it to go over there. Or I can have these two go there or over here 
And this one, go over, oops. This will have them go over there now. But you get the point, they're all the same type of aircraft. So this works with aircraft carriers as well. Remember that. If they're fighters, you can select fighters only and pick one location for them all to go to. Now you can't throw a bomber in there or a torpedo plane in there with their fighters because that's a different style of aircraft. So now you know. You can control multiple flights at the same time. See, look, these guys over here. They're going the wrong... Well, actually, they're not. So let's get one of them going over here to keep an eye on him. So now you know how to navigate them. Once you've selected the one you want to go to, see, we can jump from aircraft to aircraft just by clicking on the pilot. Now, if you've got one loading on deck, this guy can't land until your deck's clear. So he'll just circle above your ship until the aircraft on deck has taken off. And there is your landing sequence. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. The next one will be showing how to direct fire. So be sure to check out part three. Admiral William, checking out.